John DeTiro. Today is January 17th and let's get started. The Rolling Stones released their first EP in 1964. It included the songs You Better Move On, Poison Ivy, Bye Bye Johnny, and Money. A 40-year-old trumpet player by the name of David Mason recorded the piccolo trumpet solo for the Beatles' Penny Lane at Abbey Road Studios in London in 1967. For his part, David was paid $42. In August of 1987, David sold that same trumpet that he used at an auction for $10,846. Led Zeppelin I, the band's debut album, was released in the U.S. in 1969. It coincided with the band's first headlining U.S. concert tour. The album peaked at number one in the U.S. music charts. In 1972, a section of Bellevue Boulevard in Memphis, Tennessee was renamed Elvis Presley Boulevard. The remaining stretch of the boulevard kept its original name after there were many protests from the Bellevue Baptist Church. Barry Manilow scored his second U.S. number one single in 1976 with the song, I Write the Songs. However, Barry didn't actually write the songs. That song was actually written by Beach Boys' Bruce Johnson. Country singer Eddie Rabbit stomps into the number one spot on the Billboard Country Music Chart in 1981 with I Love a Rainy Night. The rock band Motley Crue was formed in 1981 after Nikki Six left the band London and began rehearsing with drummer Tommy Lee and vocalist guitarist Greg Leon. January 17, 1996 was a big day for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. The inductees on that day included David Bowie, Tom Donahue, The Jefferson Airplane, Gladys Knight and the Pips, Little Willie John, Pink Floyd, Pete Seeger, The Shirelles, and The Velvet Underground. Country star Tim McGraw starts a six-week stay at the number one spot on the Billboard Country Music Chart in 1998 with Just to See You Smile. Big year for Garth Brooks, for Garth Brooks in 2000 as he is named Artist of the Decade for the 90s during the American Music Awards at Los Angeles' Shrine Stadium. Garth also walked away the winner of Felt Favorite Male Country Artist and Favorite Country Album for Sevens. Country cutie Cassidy Pope is signed to a recording contract in Republic Nashville in 2013. David Bowie reached the number one on the American Album Charts in 2016 for the first time with Black Star. The album was released just two days before his death on January 10th. Country star Jason Aldean and Brittany Kerr held an engagement party at The Citizen in Nashville on January 17, 2015. Included on the guest list was country singers Luke Bryan and Eric Church. And now, folks, it's time to say happy birthday to the people who brought us great music or had a hand in creating the music we all love. The people born today, January 17th, are Eartha Kitt, born in 1927. Eartha was a U.S. female singer who had the U.K. number no. 7 single, Under the Bridges of Paris, and the 1989 number no. 3 single, Cha Cha Hills. William Hart was born in 1945. William became a part of the group, the Delphonics. They had the 1968 U.S. number no. 4 single, La La Means I Love You. Mick Taylor, born in 1948. Mick Taylor joined the Rolling Stones in 1969 at the age of 20. He also worked with the famous Bob Dylan, Mike Oldfield, Jack Bruce, and Ronnie Wood. Cheryl Bentine was born in 1954. Cheryl became a singer with the group Manhattan Transfer. They had the 1977 hit, 
Chanson D. Omoa, in the 1981 single, Boy from New York City. Steve Earle, born in 1955, Steve went on to become a singer-songwriter who had the 1986 album Guitar Town. Paul Young, born in 1956, Paul had the 1983 number one single, Wherever I Lay My Hat, That's My Home. He also had the 1985 U.S. number one, Every Time You Go Away. Jez Strode was born in 1958. Jez was a bass player for the band Kajagugu. They had the 1983 single, Too Shy. Susanna Hoffs was born in 1959. Susanna played, part, played guitar and was part of the vocals for the group The Bangles. They had the 1986 number two song, Maniac Monday, which was actually written by Prince, and the 1986 number one single, Walk Like an Egyptian. John Crawford was born in 1960. John later was the bass and keyboard player for the band Berlin. Berlin had the U.S. number one single, Take My Breath Away, in 1986. Bob Ritchie was born in 1971. Bob is better known by the name of Kid Rock. Rock went on to become a rapper and a rock artist, but later he teamed up with Sheryl Crow on the Country Award nomination song All Summer Long. Amanda Wilkinson, born in 1982. Amanda is a country singer who joins her father Steve and her brother Tyler to form the country band The Wilkinsons. They had the 1998 single 26 Cents. And there you have it folks, that's your music history. Today is January 17th. Go out, make it a great day, enjoy your music. And as always, like Casey Kasem would say, keep your feet on the ground and keep reaching for the stars. Thank you, have a great day.